Okay, let's get ready to eat. You know you're hungry when you're waking up and your stomach is growling. So what I'm making this morning for breakfast is French toast. And we're going to start off with one egg. Let's get it all broken up. Get it in there. I hope you guys are having a good morning this morning. I'll tell you what, if you didn't watch the Olympics, you missed a good show. I've never watched the Olympics like this before, but I tell you, it was just absolutely good. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and put in our milk. And what I'm using is coffee creamer because I really want a good flavor on my toast. Okay, then I'm gonna add some vanilla, Watkins vanilla, the only spices I use. I gotta give one of these away so you guys can just really see what I'm talking about. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little cinnamon. Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. There we go. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just mix this up. And I usually don't like a lot of eggs. I don't like my French toast to be um, soggy. I like more of a crispy, crispy French toast. I'm gonna put a little bit more milk in here so we can get a little more stir going on. There we go. Get it all stirred up. Okay, so what I'm using to make my French toast with is going to be croissants. I've never had French toast made out of croissants, but I've saw that it, it I've saw recipes for it. But this morning I'm trying it out. Let's get this one that'll fit in the bowl. So here's my croissant. Okay, so let's cut this baby in half. I got my skillet already heating over there, and I love croissants. If you've never had Costco croissants before, oh my God, they are so good. I can just like eat them out of the bag. So let's get this all cut in half. And I'm waiting for the metal um, presentation for the women's basketball uh, game. I saw the men's last night and boy, was it off the hook. Okay. So let's get started with our French toast. Okay, so what I have here is my skillet heating up and I had to turn it off because it was heating up too, too much. So I'm gonna let it cool down for just a little bit because when I put my butter in to melt it, I don't want it to burn. So as soon as it cools down for a little bit, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get started. I think it's cooled down enough so that it's not going to burn my butter here. I'm going to put in some butter. And I'm going to put this on really low. Because when you're cooking with butter, you don't want your butter to burn. Okay, so we got to move it around here. There we go. Get that all melted. I'm telling you, nothing's more delicious than French toast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my croissant and just move it around in my egg. Like I said, I don't like my French toast soggy. Let's put it in there. And let's get the other half. And another way you can make this French toast is you can bake it. And I hear it comes out really well. I'll have to try that. There we go. Uh -huh. I have never ever made French toast with a croissant. So this is new for me and it's gonna be probably good for you some of you. So 
know I've got my fire up. I don't want it to be up too much because I don't want to burn my fruit stove either. Move it around and let it get in some of that butter and egg and vanilla. Mm, it smells so delicious. And it's cooking really well. This one right here I can almost turn over for a little bit. Oh, that smells so good. And what I I had mentioned this before. Usually when you're cooking on a on, on your stove top, I don't know if it's just mine or maybe some other one. Sometimes you have spots that get hotter on one side than it does on the other. So that's why I keep moving it around. So what I'm gonna do is let this continue to brown. And when I come back, we're not gonna only be trying French toast with um, made with croissant. We're going to be trying peach syrup and peaches. I had some leftover peaches and I thought, you know what? I'll make some peach syrup and then I can make some, some use it with my French toast and then the rest I can use with some peach tea. So we'll be back. Okay, so we've got our French toast all done and that's the little, um, well, it's supposed to have been bacon, but it was pork belly. So I just used it. So let's put on some of that good old peach. And these were just leftover peaches I had left over. I had bought some peaches and um, they were getting too soft. And I didn't want to throw them away and I didn't want to eat them right then either. So, what I'm doing is we're having it on our French toast. Like so. Okay. Okay, and this is our croissant. French toast and boy it looks and smells delicious so let's give it a try this is the front the uh, peach syrup that I made let's just pour some over and you know it's funny because I usually don't pour so syrup on my toast I usually put it on the side but let's give this a try and as you can hear it's nice and crunchy get peach mmm Delicious. It's so different from your other basic French toast. It's got a nice crunch. You can taste the peach syrup and the peaches. Yum, yum. Mm. Definitely give this a try. I really think you'll like it. So thank you for joining me on Exploring Foods with Smitty with my breakfast that I'm starving for. And you have a good rest of the day.